In Chef's Guide this week, I'm going to show you how to prepare a leg of lamb for roasting. So it'll come, this is rather a large one because it's actually towards the end of the season now. But um, the first thing to do would be to just trim there down at the, this end. Then if you have a little saw, you could get your butcher to do this, but if you have a little saw, um, you could actually do it yourself at home. So we'll start off. This doesn't look very effective, this little saw, but actually it's doing the job all right. Now, there we are. So we'll leave that piece there and you could actually, if you wanted to, you could put that into a saucepan um, with a couple of little bits of carrot and onion and uh, cover it with water and a few peppercorns, throw in a few peppercorns, a little bit of um, a few little herbs and then you could make a little stock for the gravy. So trim off the end of the bone here. And this is just really, this is not essential at all, but for, if it was, you're going to serve your leg of lamb at a dinner party, it would look sort of much posher if you had the end of the leg trimmed off like this. And then you could always put a little cutlet frill on at the end if you wanted to, to be real enough. So, <laughs> uh, now the, the problem about carving a leg of lamb, and if you want to serve this for a dinner party, you may want to carve it at the table. So um, there's a bone coming up along here, and then there's a ball and socket joint up here. And this sort of um, little bone makes it quite difficult to carve if you don't remove that. So you can do this quite easily at home yourself. So turn it round and then with, um, you just cut, take your time and just cut round the bone and just remove this. Well, the first time you do it, you'll sort of be trying to feel your way just to, until you know the shape of the bone. But take your time, particularly if you've got a really sharp knife in your hand. You may have to turn the leg over a couple of times. I know it's difficult to see when I've got in this position, but this is the position I need to have it in if I'm going to be able to cut around the bone. So we'll loosen it there. Now, as I said, you could ask your butcher to do this for you, but in a way it's quite fun just to be able to do it yourself. So now it's almost out. Just if you can see there, you can see there's, there's the ball and the socket joint. So lift that out. Then this bone can be added in with the knuckle into the stock pot. Now, and you might like to just trim off if there's excess fat on it, you might like to trim that off as well. But remember, you must have some fat on meat, otherwise you won't have any flavor. You don't have to eat it, but you do need the fat on for flavor. So you could, if you wanted to, you could sort of just tie that to keep it together uh, when it's cooking. And then you might like to just score the fat just gently like that or you could put little tufts of rosemary and garlic uh, into it and then roast it if you wanted rosemary and garlic flavour. Otherwise you could just rub just a little salt into the skin and just roast it, just serve it with a lovely fresh mint sauce or mint and apple jelly. Um, or you could rub a freshly roasted cumin in with the salt into the skin and then roast it and that would be absolutely delicious too. Uh, so then um, if you want to give a really 1950s look, well, make yourself a cutlet frill, which of course you don't put in when you're roasting it in the oven, but you could add it at the end uh, just as you're serving it. And I just made that with a little piece of A4 paper and a scissors and just stapled it with a little staple at the end. So there we are, um, a ro uh, how to prepare um, a leg of lamb for roasting this week.